Okay, good morning everyone. It is Sunday the 5th of uh, March. I made the mistake last night of leaving my banana in the car. It is now solid. Temperature outside is minus 11. My drink bottle, once again I left it inside. Solid. And my orange juice is solid. I should have known. So, what's happening today is the route I was taking, I couldn't find a, any accommodation for a thousand kilometers. It was, uh, I was going the back roads up through uh, the bush type of thing. So I've changed my route. Now I'm heading, I've got to backtrack a hundred kilometers to uh, Prince George, um, which is a hundred kilometers from where I came from and then head north on a different road which is a little bit a little bit more populated there's a lot more towns and uh, so the journey is uh, five hours five and a half hours 500 kilometers 499 so 500 kilometers so it is now uh, 9 15 in the morning early start for me so we'll see how we go. What's Navman say? Navman says 499, exactly the same. Says it will arrive at 2, 240. So we'll see how we go. Like I said, it's beautiful blue skies, minus 11 degrees. So definitely wear my thermals today. So we say goodbye to the Hillview Motel. A uh, very comfortable night and we'll see you next time around and we'll head off into the wild blue yonder remember driving on the right side of the road i have to remind myself only once so far i've kind of started to go towards the left it's a ha bad habit possible that was a blue already I was heading the way I was gonna go but now I realize love luckily nav man told me I'm going the wrong way already okay back on track that's where we got to go to Prince George 95 kilometers so we got to backtrack 95 kilometers and then head north to a more populated area I was hoping to go through uh, sort of the bush type of thing but uh, the accommodation so it would have been probably nice scenery but I'd be sleeping in the car which uh, wouldn't be comfortable so it's a five and a half hour drive hopefully we might see uh, an animal or something a moose or a deer although they're probably all in the bush they usually don't uh, come to the road unless it's uh, summer are smarter than that I know they get run over hopefully by the time I get there my banana and uh, well banana once it thaws out will be just mush uh, but the water and the orange juice should be drinkable by then hopefully it's compulsory to drive with your lights on in Canada which is a great safety idea I, I always leave my lights on in Australia it makes it easier to see the other cars and I noticed in Canada, when I came here last time, it was the same. They're line markings. They never worry about redoing them. So basically, basically you can't see the road markings. Like the centre line, you can barely see. And the lines separating the lanes are, are barely visible as well. They never worry about redo, renewing them, which is a shame. You can see by those tracks, someone's been having fun on their snowmobile which I think would be almost compulsory living out here somebody's working in the cold electricity guys I bet they've got their thermals on okay we're just arriving at Prince George so I've just backtracked 100 kilometers 
and now we have to head north and follow a more populated route where there's plenty of towns and uh, accommodation and fuel. So I won't be sleeping in the car. So this is Prince George and there's a Maccas. I should have stayed here the night, it would have saved 100 kilometres. Anyway, we live and learn. There was a thousand kilometres of uh, bush, the wilderness, and one town in between and didn't have any accommodation. So I had to turn back and now we're on a civilised path. So here's where we change direction. We're now heading for north, Dawson's Creek, which is where we want to go. Bear left, Highway 97, John Hart Highway. Thank you, Navi. So it's um, 10.25, should be arriving by 3 o'clock, and we've got 404 kilometres to go. <coughs> Mr. PG. So we're head straight for 306 kilometres, so we can't get lost that way. Okay, I'm doing the naughty thing. I'm getting McDonald's for breakfast because it's getting late and there's no time to go anywhere else. This is what you call a boxed-in McDonald's. <laughs> it's just, just about... Uh, <laughs> gee, it must have had a bit of snow here. It's over a metre... definitely over a metre thick. So it's now... Uh, what time is it? It's 10, quarter to 11. I'm getting breakfast. In 200 metres at the end of the I'm road. I'm really confused poor left, old uh, Navman. Road West. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm getting something to eat now because it's uh, 392 kilometres to, to go and uh, there's probably not much more, not many more places to eat. So while I'm waiting for my breakfast order, um, you can see the water is just starting to melt. The banana... Like I said, it's turned to mush. The first bit of it is just sloppy. So it's going to be not edible. And the orange juice is still frozen. So that'll be a while. First petrol station I come to, I fill up and the toilet's out of order. So it's minus 10 degrees outside still. So I'll have to find a bush toilet somewhere. I always like to fill up uh, when it gets to half. I've just stopped the car in the rest area and I'm going to use the facilities. It's minus 11 degrees still. It was minus 10 back at the service station now it's minus 11 so hopefully it'll be warmer in here luckily it was only a number one i'd hate to do number two oh it's uh it's pretty bad
is the town of Chetwind. Uh, we've still got an hour, just over an hour to drive. Uh, petrol is down to half, so I like to fi uh, fill up when it gets to a half, so I might look for a service station. Give me a good price. There we are, there's one here, $1.63. Okay, I've just filled up with petrol, dollar sixty-three a litre, so it's about a dollar sixty-five, sixty-seven in Australia, and uh, it's minus seventeen degrees outside. So from tomorrow, I'll be wearing my scarf and my beanie and uh, my gloves. Definitely nippy around the pippy, and it can only get colder. So we're leaving Chetwind and. Uh, the time is blown out again now I'm, I've got a hundred kilometers to go and it says I'll get there it's quarter to four it says I'll get there at ten to five this is why I try not to do more than six hours a day I want to get there before it gets dark so it gets time to get dark after four o'clock at the moment so hopefully we'll make it before dark Highway 2, Alaska Avenue. Thank you. And this is Dawson Creek, where the famous Dawson Creek TV show was filmed and based, and uh, very popular among the ladies. So we just have to find the Peace Motel. Here we have the Peace Motel. But I think I better go and get some destination on the right. Thank you. Sixteen forty one Alaska Avenue. I think I better go and get something to eat first, because um, once I get settled, I don't want to have to go out again when it's dark. So I'll get something to eat first, and then go back to the hotel. Okay, we just arrived at the Peace Peace Villa Motel, and I've got room one one eight. Someone's brought me a pizza. Whew. That's nice. Just check. One piece missing. Oh, that must have been me. Okay, one night, $89 uh, with tax. Very nice homely room. And we have a dripping tap. That's okay. I won't complain about that. Coffee maker and toilet. Another bath. Okay, bath shower. Just here for one night. How you going? Good? It's minus 17 degrees. Did I mention it's minus 17 degrees outside? So tomorrow I'll be wearing beanie, scarf, gloves. So we're here for one night and uh, then we head further north. So I'm going to get stuck into my pizza before it gets cold. 